Hey guys, today we're going to do the unboxing and overview of the DJI Mic 2 transmitter. Uh, so this is a wireless mic that DJI, a uh, Chinese drone company that makes a bunch of cameras and, and microphones as well. Uh, they sell this. Um, uh, they usually sell this as part of a package that includes a receiver. Um, but for me, I don't need that receiver because um, I have my DJI Pocket 3 here, which uh, has a built-in receiver. So it just pairs um, automatically, essentially, with the DJI Pocket 3, since it's made by the same company. Uh, so I don't need the receiver, so I just got the um, mic by itself here. And I wanted to get two mics, you know, because sometimes I might want to do like podcasts and videos with my friend. And then in those instances, it's better to have two mics than one. So I just bought this one separately. Uh, if you get it separately by itself, it retails for about 100 bucks US. Um, features are a six hour battery, 14 hour internal recording, and uh, has a magnetic attachment. So, yeah, overall, um, feature set is, uh, is decent. Um, it's not the most expensive wireless microphone. And uh, if the performance is good, right? Um, going to be testing this one out uh, and uh, comparing it with a few other wireless mics that I've tried in the past. So first let's get to the unboxing here. Uh, first you notice that DJI's boxes uh, always look very similar to Apple's. <laughs> I think by design they try to make it look really clean. Alright, so here's what we get inside. Okay, um, you get the manual here of course. Uh, just the information about the mic 2 transmitter and uh, yeah if you don't have a DJI camera to use this with then you need to get the DJI receiver separately that's another product that you guys have to buy uh, if you don't have a DJI product to connect this with in my case I have a DJI camera to connect it with but if you don't then you need to get the receiver separately uh, but yeah this is uh, pretty much some information about how to use this microphone uh, there's an app that you should download I guess um, and then there's some, yeah, different I.O. of the mic. So let's see, the, the, the TX receiver. Yeah, so this is basically how to get the Bluetooth working, connecting. So this is the, the receiver that you guys would need to buy if you don't have a DJI camera to uh, connect it to. And uh, you wear it on your shirt pocket with or without the magnetic uh, clip-on attachment. Um, and then yeah, I'll tell you what the blinking lights mean and everything so pretty useful to have actually uh, Especially like when you have all these different lights and stuff. You might not know what it means um, And I'm always appreciative right now when these companies include something physical because these days uh, Lots of companies are trying to save money by not printing paper I mean they say it's for the environment which I guess is true But also saves them money by not having to print out the paper and they just give you a QR code and tell you to go look it up online well, DJI Leash gives you a physical uh, manual for that, which is nice. Okay, it comes with a carrying case. So, that's actually more than I expected. I actually did not expect this to come with a carrying case. But it comes with a carrying case, and uh, it's a pretty decent carrying case, actually. Where it has like a few different pockets and stuff. It's not, like, uh, it's not like they just threw it in here without any design. They give you a few different pockets that contain something. So, here we have a USB-A to USB-C connector, or a cable right here. So that's pretty normal, USB or USB-C, um, that's also going to charge the mic, of course. Here you get um, the mic itself, which is pretty tiny, it's being a wireless mic, and uh, you get the windscreen as well. So that when you're outside, um, you know, there's going to be wind and stuff, uh, that's when you might need the windscreen cover. So to include that, uh, and this is what the uh, DJI transmitter looks like here. DJI Mic 2 transmitter. Uh, it's pretty cool. I know it's like see through, so you can kind of see. Um, yeah, so it says Mic TX right here. Yeah, you can kind of see this, the little circuit board there, which is pretty cool, I guess. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, basically the the mic here, and uh, I'm guessing it's it's. Uh, well, actually, I'm not sure. It's this dynamic or card or uh, condenser, but anyways. Um, the performance should be pretty good because DJI products usually perform fairly well. Uh, so this slot right here is actually going to be for the windscreen cover here. I know it looks like a headphone jack and yeah it looks like a headphone jack but um, what you do is you actually put the windscreen cover here if you want to use it and uh, that's how you would use it if there's a lot of wind outside and you're going to be using it outside. So yeah but if you're using it indoors it's actually better not to use the windscreen cover. I think it's uh, 
better for clarity. So it's only if you need the windscreen cover outside, if there's a lot of wind, then you use that. Okay, so on the side here, you have the Bluetooth uh, connection button here that you use to pair with your receiver or your DJI device. Uh, power button, of course, indicator light. Um, here you have the clip and the magnetic attachment. So basically, uh, this is a pretty strong magnet here. Yeah. Yeah, pretty strong magnet. Okay. So yeah, this is uh, where you clip it to yourself. And then uh, for additional, you know, stability, that's when uh, you need to, well, you would want to use this uh, magnetic attachment. On this side, uh, you have the recording button, another indicator light, and the USB uh, for charging and for connecting. Uh, so yeah, if you want to just... I guess if you want to use it wired, you can connect it to your phone or something, but uh, yeah, most people will just be using this to charge. Um, so yeah, gives you six hours of battery here, and there's also magnetic attachment here, I think, for attaching something else. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'll be using it with my DJI Pocket 3. And uh, yeah, in a bit, I'll show you guys a video I recorded with my friend, and uh, it's going to be showing you guys the performance of the DJI Mic 2 uh, and I'll also be comparing it with previous smart wireless mics I've used uh, with my friend as well so yeah uh, stay tuned guys um, basically I'm comparing it to uh, the Hollyland Lark M1 uh, which is a previous wireless mic I had before as well as one of those cheapo Amazon wireless mics I got before and uh, yeah let me know what you guys think of the difference in sound quality uh, but yeah that's it uh, DJI mic 2 transmitter um, I'll be using this from now on for doing most of my like recording I guess if I have uh, some people to talk to like podcasting and stuff in the same room uh, then I'll probably be using this yeah I'll be using two of these actually so that's it, guys um, stay tuned for the video let me know uh, what you guys think and I'll be comparing it with my other wireless mics I had before let me know what you guys think of the differences in sound quality and yeah as always, thanks for watching. This is a pretty good uh, affordable option. I think it's only 100 bucks US isn't cheap, but uh, I think for a wireless mic, you're looking for a good, decent quality wireless mic, I think it's a good price. Pretty solid for what it does. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Hi everyone. So today uh, we're doing another K-pop related video and I have my friends Locke here, uh, as usual from previous videos, and a new member joining mm -hmm. Joey, uh, who also loves K-pop. So today, um, our topic is actually we're going to go over some debut songs of um, different girl groups. So, and some of them you might know, some some of them you might not know. So uh, I think it'd be interesting to kind of react to them. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's start off. I have a list here. Um, I actually have... hey guys, today we're going to be uh, reacting to the sexiest k-pop videos um of uh we are looking at old k-pop groups actually from 2012 to 2015 so yeah we have uh 20 groups on this list so we're going to be doing reaction and we're judging the what is it out of 10 here the songs or the visuals are both both, both. so is that kind of combined yeah okay so we'll be judging the overall feeling the song and the visuals and we'll be looking at official mbs Hey guys, uh, today we'll be doing a video with my friend Locke here and uh, we'll be doing a ranking of different uh, girl group songs in particular we're going to be doing the big three K-pop girl groups um, from the big three companies actually so YG Entertainment, SM Entertainment and JYP Entertainment and we'll be picking the top two girl groups uh, from each entertainment company um, I think you guys know if you're a K-pop fan which groups these are